Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 7 The Lord has spoken, and will not repent. Heed His words, and give Him glory. July 17, 2007 From God the Father A letter given to Timothy, for Timothy, and for all those who have ears to hear. Timothy, my servant, hear and understand, and take my words to heart. Here is wisdom. Look upon these who have caused you such great distress and heartache, even all these who have seemingly spoken against you in harsh tones, with anger, reproach, contempt, and backbitings, and all this on account of their own envy and evil surmisings. For they never cease from speaking blasphemies and teaching heresies. They entangle themselves in strivings, and are held captive by all these disputings of the heart and mind, in open and in secret. Timothy, against whom have these spoken? And with whom do they contend, by every contemptible word and deed? Against whom have these gathered? They do rebel against their God. Neither can they bear to hear the truth, though they speak of me aloud, even taking to themselves the name of my Son. Timothy, take not one word or deed to yourself, not one. Rather pray for them. For though they are learned, they have become as the unlearned, knowing not the things of God, neither do they abide in Christ, neither does he live in them. They have turned their faces from me, shining their false light before men, according to those same false doctrines which they had received from their forefathers. Therefore, Timothy, how is it you contend with them in the same manner as they have contended with you, when in truth they have rejected both me and my word, my own letters which I have sent to them, that they might receive true knowledge, opening their eyes to the greater majesty of the word, setting all these crooked paths straight? So I ask you, beloved, have you written all these words? Are these your own works you have shown before this multitude? Have you done all these things by your own commandment? Have you taught or planted even one seed of truth according to your own understanding or knowledge? Vanity, Timothy, vanity! Taking all these accusations and backbitings, even all these evil offenses and name-calling to yourself, is great arrogance, the seeds of pride and vanity. For in the defending of yourself, you have taken all I have given you and made it yours unknowingly. This is my word, my understanding, my knowledge, my own spirit which you have received. Therefore step down from my throne and humble yourself, Timothy, and repent. Or have you so quickly forgotten that vengeance is mine? I will repay. Thus all these who say they know me, yet do not really know me, who do call of themselves Christians and Jews, I shall surely rebuke and chasten. So by their abasement they may also be uplifted. For I do correct and discipline all those I love, even as I have done with you. No one understand this also. These who refuse to give heed to my words, who also cast stones at my prophets, by every contemptuous word and deed, in open and in secret, shall by no means be gathered when the great day of the Lord comes. Shall I reward them based solely upon their proclamation of faith in my name? I search the hearts and minds, and that which is unspoken I know. Even all thoughts of the mind and every intent of the heart is known to the Most High God. So then these, who seem oh so righteous before men, cannot cover over their hearts true intent by scripture and elevated words. Even those doctrines, covered with scarlet and purple, I know and do hate. For from the heart comes forth all things done in action, and spoken by the mouth. Nothing is born of itself. Rather that done and that spoken, whether in truth or for a pretense, was first born of the heart, even by the innermost thoughts of the mind. 
For as it is written, There is nothing concealed which will not be exposed, nor anything hidden which shall not be revealed and brought into the light of day. All will be made known. Timothy, fear none of these who persecute you, nor strive over words with them. They are but flesh. For they do have ears, but will not hear. They do have eyes, yet refuse to see. Thus when even one tittle of correction or truth is spoken from the mouth of God, even of Christ, they do quickly plug their ears and cover their eyes, lest they should be found wanting and shown guilty of teaching heresies and blasphemies before God, in the name of the Son. Desecration! Shall I then reward them for these things, and gather them, though they have learned nothing of the truth, as it was meant to be received, spoken, and lived in, abiding wholly in the doctrine of Christ, by whom they say they are called, though they do not follow him? Nor do they carry any cross at all, refusing to pick it up for its weight. Neither do they ask for strength, but do always turn aside after Satan, who has come to subvert even all these houses which are called by my name. For they are more concerned with the things of men than the things of God. Timothy, I have given you a sword, not a handcart. Use what I have given you, for my sickle is poised and ready for reaping. But first, the harvest must be prepared and separated. You are sent as a teacher and prophet to those of a humble heart, who do always seek my face, and as a watchman and soldier to those who continually resist my word and stifle my spirit. Behold, both the seeker and the obstinate shall be pierced and struck through, and the truly wicked of heart shall be slain therein. For the Lord your God is no respecter of persons, neither do I change. For I am, and forever shall I be, the same and unchanging. Therefore, go out, Timothy. You shall go where I send you, carrying a sharp sword, which is not your own, but that which was received of mine and given to you. Strike at all these nations and peoples, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Strike them down with the word of my mouth. Some uplifted to great glory, and others to the humbling, and the wicked to condemnation. Thus says the Lord to all peoples and nations, Hear the word of the Lord, and understand. The prophets are sent out, their number 144,000, even 12,000 from each tribe. Hear the trumpet and the warning, for the day is at hand. And the great day of the Lord is very near. Repent and give me glory. Kiss the Son, you know his name. Yahushua, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, the harvest is already being bundled. The shout approaches quickly and shall soon resound in the ears of the first redeemed from the earth. The Lord has spoken and shall not repent. Thus all things shall come to pass, and be fulfilled even within one week's time. Then you, O oh so insolent children, shall know a prophet had been among you.